Well, 3.4 million people across the world die each year from a water related disease. And the Birmingham based clean water ministry called Never Thirst is working to change that number. I was given the opportunity to see firsthand how the hard work done here in Alabama is changing lives in India. Music and song fill this village in Jharkhand, India. They are celebrating something we all need to survive. Not long ago, these villagers were cooking, drinking, and washing with water that was either contaminated or too dangerous to obtain. Basanti and Adeline Tiro both lost a husband and a daughter. They died while trying to get water from this steep well. We miss them a lot as we come near the well. The same memories come back to us and we are reminded of them. This is just one of many places where you'll find the work of a Birmingham nonprofit called Never Thirst. Co-founder and executive director Mark Whitehead says after traveling the world, group members noticed one common theme, the lack of clean water. We take for granted. We leave the sink running and water our lawns and we just, we don't have a clue of how people live around the world. But we quickly were educated, you know, over a series of those trips. So we came back and God really put on our heart to focus on using clean water to advance his gospel around the world. Several hours away in the state of Bihar, the same water crisis. We're in the village of Korma, and we've come to see a, a site, a water project that's been sponsored by Iron Tribe. Um, on the way in, we walked past a dried up river um, where they used to gather water that would cause massive sickness throughout a village. Here, drinking water used to come from the same river where animals bathe. Oftentimes, when they get here, they would find out that the river had already dried up. They'd actually have to dig holes in the sand and wait until they get water. And even when they got that water, it would be muddy water. The United Nations reports 130 million people in India did not have access to clean water. Thanks to donations from Iron Tribe Fitness, both villages now have a well. Uh, last year we raised $100,000 and this year we raised $200,000. So in all total, I think we've now uh, raised enough money for uh, about 150 wells. Forrest Walden is one of the founding members of Never Thirst and now the CEO of Iron Tribe Fitness. He found a way to continue to support the clean water ministry. Every year we do a big event called Workout for Water. And it's basically just a big workout where we invite everyone to come out, members, non-members, and come do a workout in honor of the people who don't have access to water. We just all felt like uh, that God was calling us to do something more with our time, our talents, and our resources. We have a call to serve those people and that I think you'll find more true joy and peace uh, serving than trying to continue to collect more and more here. At least that's been my experience. A, good, a lot of good work being done here in Alabama. Well, my series of reports continues next Sunday. Can you imagine coming home to no doors or very little furniture? After seeing these homes, I was really thankful for where I live. I'll share you those pictures and that story with you next week. For more information about Never Thirst, you can check them out online at neverthirstwater.org.